done. Um, you know, the, the last thing, we're not going to really go into detail about it this summer, but uh, this summer, this class, uh, uh, in this class, but be aware that you can also have a thermal effect, right? So we've talked about poroelasticity where uh, you have your, your normal stress tensor and then you subtract off the effects of the pore pressure in the BO coefficient, but you can also have effects due to temperature, right? So in this, in this case, K is the bolt modulus. Uh, alpha T is the coefficient of thermal expansion, so it's a material property. Basically, it's, it's how the material will, you know, it's a function of how the material will expand given when it's heated up, okay? And then delta T is a change in temperature. And this is also an isotropic effect. So you see there's a, the identity matrix is being multiplied there, just like the pore pressure. So just like the pore pressure, this only operates on the diagonal of the stress tensor. Okay. And, you know, th this, this, this can be, uh, can be uh, you know, in, in reservoirs, the temperature, you know, especially when you're drilling, uh, you can have a considerable sort of uh, temperature difference or change in temperature that can cause large expansions or contractions of the rock which can then lead to, you know, the stress changes lead to failure. Uh, and this, this is really, um, th this can be a really big deal in like geothermal, uh, enhanced geothermal systems and other things. So, so we, we won't really talk about it in this class, but just be aware of it um, that, you know, for, for a full geomechanical characterization or a complete model, you'd really have to consider, at least think about whether temperature effects are going to be important or not.